Hello and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, we're going to be in Final Cut Pro 10 or X or whatever you wanna call it. And today we're going to be working with and talking about green screen and chroma key editing. So um, as you see here, I have some raw video footage of a project I've been working on with an object and then the green screen behind her here. Um, and then if we look at the final product here, you can see that I have used the chroma key tools as well as the green screen, whatever you wanna call it, um, in order to get her as if she's being placed in a different environment or background. So again, we have the raw footage here, which is the green screen here and the object on top of that and then we have thrown a background on top of it so what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to work with files that have green screens and how to make it look like I have made it look here and so what we're going to do in the video is I'm going to be showing you how to get that effect, that green screen effect. So what you want to do is go ahead and import your green screen video and drag it down to your timeline. As you've seen here, I'm in Final Cut Pro. I have already uh, taken the footage and I have placed it here in my timeline. If you need to, you can make the adjustments with your audio you know, before or after, it really doesn't matter. And then what you're going to want to do, this is a very important uh, part of kind of th the next step here, is you're gonna to wanna to select that footage there. And what you're gonna to want to do is navigate over to your effects. So if we go over here, you can see we have transitions and then we have effects here. Go down to where you see keying. So right here you have keying and then drag the one here that says here. K-E-Y-E-R, and you can see that's going to remove the green color there to give you the effect that you want to go ahead and place your background on top of. So in order to do that, click and hold that effect and then drag it on top of the footage in the timeline. As you can see here, a green addition symbol will come up, let go, and then boom, you're going to see that effect applied to your footage. Now, the next step, and this is very crucial to getting the desired effect, is you're gonna to want to select your background image. So I'm gonna use a new background image. I will use this one here, kind of like a skyline here with the ocean in the background. I'm gonna go ahead and click and hold that and make sure you drag it below your video footage. So go ahead, drag that below your video footage. Now, one thing you may notice is that the image is not filling up the entire screen, which means I, I wanna change that. I don't want it to, to look like it's cropped off. So you can go and click on this option here and go to transform. And then what you're going to do is basically just drag that image out until it reaches the edges of your screen there. Because if you're going to export in 1080p, you want it to be full screen. Another cool thing you can do is you can select your video footage and you can actually move the object around on the actual video. So if we go here and we want the object to maybe be on the side here or we want her to be possibly over here as opposed to centered, you can basically drag the object wherever you want to drag the object and then press play and as you can see, it's perfectly fine. Obviously, there's a little bit of a rendering going on there, so just ignore that. But again, make sure your image has, you know, filled out the entire, uh, you know, entirety of your timeline, and you're good to go. You can start playing around with things, kind of seeing what you you're doing, and, and playing with with different effects and things like that. But that's how you work with green screens and the chroma key within, uh, you know, Final Cut Pro. If you have any questions, guys, put those in the comment section below. I always try to get to those as soon as possible. Don't forget to like and share the video if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more content just like this. And until next time, see you later.